Hello, nerds! Welcome to Geek Beast, part of the Geekish Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news from geeks like me and geeks like you. We're about to jump into some of that news because, you know, that's what we do, man. We keep you up to date with all of the new hotness in the geek world. Yo, all right, so listen. <laughs> I try not to follow this cat. I really try. But he just forces himself into my time stream, into everything, my socials, everything. And it's this damn, it's this damn Logan Paul, man. He's everywhere. He's either He's knocking, either knocking folks out, talking trash to friend. Dana. Yo, like he was in the news like two he days ago. Talk, talk, talk trash to Dana White. He did talking he said, trash. You're not playing your play. You're not paying your. You're not paying your fighters. All of Dana this stuff, says, man. start start your own league, then start your own fighting <laughs> league. And and he he finds a way. I'll give I'll give the 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 Paul brothers one thing. They know mm-hmm. how to stay relevant. You know they they know how to work the, the algorithms. Uh, and one of the things that he used to kind of work the algorithms was like a little over a month ago, right? Uh, he had bought like one of the rarest box sets of Pokemon cards that, that were available at the time. Bro. Let's fucking go. That's a three and a half million dollar box. We're yeah. sitting in the vicinity of 11 first edition base set Pokemon boxes. This, this will probably never happen again. Is this the only one that we know of that exists? Until somebody shows another one, it's the only one. How many first edition the Charizards little, are little, inside little, here? Charizards are, they've been eaten. I can hear them, fam. They're, fat I, they're, trying, to, they're yeah. trying to get out, bro. Fat <laughs> Um, and then he paid like three point five million dollars for this box set of Pokemon cards, like unopened. Yeah, first, first edition. First base edition. Set. Yeah. So, but here's the thing, though, because you know he's, he's got to be all braggadocious about it and everything, as you should if you're gonna you know drop three point five million. I'm not mad at the braggadocious, mm-hmm. but you know you got to come with proper receipts, right? And the mm-hmm. internet will do that for you if you are not willing to do it for yourself. And his Pokemon set has come up fraudulent, homie. Potentially fraudulent. It's not hundred percent, but it's not looking good. Allegedly, for Mr. he has a, he wasted three point five million dollars. <laughs> I just want to know how you how you buy this set, right? Right, and not get it properly appraised. <sighs> See, yeah, properly appraised is the key thing. I think you you hit the nail right on the head. Properly appraised because he did get it appraised. Apparently, according to this article, according mm-hmm. to PokeBeach.com, these are the, mm-hmm. the the Pokemon snoops that are going around. Uh, they he got it appraised by somebody by a group of card collectors who focus primarily on sporting cards. And if you're in the card industry, not all cards are alike. You know, sports mm-hmm. cards are a lot different than gaming cards, like like Magic the Gathering, which are different than Pokemon cards, you know? So you need to find somebody within that niche in order to justify, you know, some of these some of these purchases. So that's the uh-huh. first strike. Yo, the next one, man, barcodes are coming up kind of fugazi. Yo, they trace, they trace the original Pokemon box all the way back, like maybe to like three or four owners in the past. He was fraudulent. The, the, the cereal bar was, was fraudulent. The, the way that the ink fades over time, because you got to keep in mind, these cards are like over 30 years old and ink turns. So the ink looked relatively fresh out the pen. So it's not looking good, man. 3.5, man. Ooh. You feel bad for him? Uh, not at all. But I feel bad for the person that sold it to him. But the simple fact is that he may have to end up coming up with that money, track down the person that he bought it from, from probably years ago. Probably doesn't remember, you know. Nobody knows remembers a uh, uh, Dick Beater eighty nine on <laughs> eBay. We bought it from, right? No, right. big facts, <laughs> right? Big facts. Right? Yeah. Right? And he bought it for a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah, oh man, man, this is man. Yo, and then what? What can be done legally will be done illegally. Yeah, yeah, man. And then, it's, and not only is he gonna have to like repay out again, you know, you also have to consider the fact that whoever did this fraudulent activity a 3.5 million dollar scam yo that's that's a federal crime that's a federal offense mm-hmm. that, that ain't like that ain't like little little kids of the person jail. that sold it to him doesn't have to that. pay the money back and he has insurance <laughs> yeah. and insurance to eat that cost maybe insurance eat that cost maybe yeah maybe but you know hey logan paul he may took he may have taken an l from this but he's back in the news again as a result of it so even when he loses he wins. Japan is all about the respect. So. Yeah, he wins. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> he's winning over here. I mean, 
He's back in the news, you know. Maybe he'll start a fight league where they play Pokemon first and yeah. then they box, like chess boxing. Remember <laughs> <laughs> they Britain, Britain, they do chess boxing when you play a chess game yeah. and you box, and I'll the winner fat. of the chess, you, the winner of the chess game wins the boxing match, yeah. or the, or you get knocked out first. One of the two have to happen. Yo, I'm kind of feeling that, right? And the, like the, mm. the higher the higher position you get, the higher weight class you are. Like if you're a pawn, you're just like a little eighty pound dude, but. Trying to box no, against like a knight. No, no, like no, you, no, no you play the game of chess. <laughs> so you, you take no. punch, punches to the face, uh -huh. and then they bring a chess board in the middle of the ring, and you sit down and do a chess move each. <laughs> they move it out the way, and you punch each other in the face again. Yo, you over here trying to play chess and you woozy? That's that's that's, that's the whole point in the chess box. <laughs> that is the whole point. <laughs> Maybe they do that playing Pokemon or, or Magic the Gathering. You play Magic the Gathering, you pick the table up, move it off the stage yeah. and let people punch each other in the face <laughs> i would love that yo i wouldn't I would put like it past that. them i whoa, wouldn't put it past them yo whoa, if, if my Baker... my mail i just had a my mail okay. right create a ring okay but in the corners of the ring you have fighting games mm -hmm. and each time you do a round of fighting games, so you have like Marvel versus Capcom two in the corner, okay. Super Street Fighter in another corner, but right. you but you but you have them barred off, or you got you have the proper ring, but you mm -hmm. have extra modules right outside the ring, and you have to fight play a, a round of fighting games, then go into the real ring and fight each other, then play another round of fighting games. Damn, that's that's some fighting on top of fighting. <laughs> yeah, of fight. call it yeah, that's, Super that's Fight League. <laughs> I would call, call it the Fight League. That'd be amazing. Each corner has a different fighting game, and whoever gets the most points in the round calls which fighting game they get to play. Oh, see, now you heard it here first. You heard it here first on, on Geek oh, Beast. Yeah. We're going to no, make that no. happen. No stealing. I'm getting Nissan in on this because we got <laughs> wrestling too. Oh, we just turned it into full out wrestling. No, no boxing, just wrestling. <laughs>